Sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a vacation in the Virgin Islands and a Caribbean cruise. Which star is it? Jimmy Walker. Dom DeLuise. Rosemary. Ernest Borgnine. Teresa Merritt. Roddy McDowell. Elizabeth Montgomery. Jonathan Winters. Or Paul Lynn. All in the Hollywood Squares. And here is the master of the Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall. Thank you, Kenny. Good evening. Welcome to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. Hi, Peter. Nice to see you, each and every one of you. Hello, Judy. Hi. This, she used to be Judy Montgomery. She's now Judy Morgan, ladies and gentlemen. This is Judy Morgan, yes. A data analyst who feeds Russian words into a computer and they come out in English, hopefully, right? Hopefully. Uh, this young lady is single and she likes sports, so guys, um, good luck this evening, Judy. Thank you. Yeah, you're cute. Hey, we've got a handsome gentleman here who's visiting us from Salt Lake City, Utah, Bill Morse. Nice to see you, nice Bill. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. to the Hollywood Squares. In the equipment business, married with three children. Right. And good luck to you, sir. We Thank have you. a commercial. That's how we stay on the air. All righty? And then we'll continue with the Hollywood Squares after that. A row either across or another diagonally. It is up to them to figure out if stars give you a correct answer, making one up. That's how they get the squares. Each completed game is worth $250 in addition. In the first three games, we play for a secret square. Ken? And next starts a secret square for a Caribbean holiday. You'll jet from Los Angeles to St. Thomas in the American Virgin Islands, where Bluebeard's Castle, high overlooking the harbor, awaits you. Deluxe accommodations, gourmet dining, dancing, and entertainment, pool, and Caribbean beaches, all furnished by Bluebeard's Castle Hotel. Then you'll cruise aboard the sleek, modern MS southward of Norwegian Caribbean lines. Newest ships sailing weekly to the popular ports of San Juan, St. Thomas, and Nassau, furnished by the Norwegian Caribbean Lines. Plus, from Pier 1 Imports, $100 worth of decorative handcrafted merchandise at any of the 300 Pier 1 Imports worldwide. Also, a Casual Corner gift certificate for exciting contemporary fashions in your image, style with a young attitude, furnished by Casual Corner. And Honeywell's popular Pentax Spotmatic 35mm camera and auto strobe and electronic flash that varies its light automatically for proper exposures, furnished by Honeywell. Now back to Peter Marshall and Hollywood Square. Well, thank you, Kenneth Williams. Let's go to the whole audience for Secret Square. I remember the stars are brief before the show to help them with the bluffs, but the stars are hearing the questions for the first time. Actually, they are. And uh, Bill won the toss backstage. Good start. Pick a star. Jimmy Walker, please. All right. Hey, that's it. That is a good start. Go get him, Bill Morris. JJ, this is worth $3,400. All righty, listen carefully, my friend. In the 1957 movie Gunfight at OK Corral, who played Wyatt Earp? Was it Kirk Douglas, Burt Lancaster, or Gregory Peck? Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck. I agree. No. It was Burt Lancaster. He played Wyatt Earp in uh, the 1957 movie, and nobody won a secret square. We'll have two more, though, Bill, so take heart. All righty. Put a circle there, a break for Judy Morgan. Paul in. Paul, true or false, there are no hospitals or cemeteries in Beverly Hills. <laughs> if you die there, they just leave you in a Mercedes. <laughs> There are no hospitals or cemeteries in Beverly Hills, true or false? Uh, gosh, that's right. That hospital's in Century City. No, I don't think there is. He says, that's true. I'll agree. You know something that is true? It so states here. There are no hospitals or cemeteries right. in Beverly Hills. I didn't know that. Put a circle there, Bill. Peace, America, Block. That's my mama. How you doing, dear? Fine. Do experts think it is a good idea to just start dancing wildly? for five minutes each day. <laughs> I mean, you wake up, you've just had lunch, and you feel like doing the bump. Is that a good idea to just go crazy or the hustle, whatever, for five minutes every day? Oh, I think it'd be good. It's a form of exercise. I would agree. Yeah, it helps the heart and the lungs. You're on the board with the next. Judy, your turn. <laughs> Jonathan Winters. Hi, Farmer John. Real good to see you. We had a real good crop this year. <laughs> They were little crops, but uh, then our... With a lot of crops, our, right? Our family's small, so it don't make no difference. <laughs> yeah. All right. We have all heard of the Baseball Hall of Fame and the Football Hall of Fame. Is there a poultry, poultry Hall of Fame? Farmer John? <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, the Football Hall of Fame. I know the Baseball Hall of Fame. Football Hall of Fame's in Canton, Ohio. That's right. I believe the... Uh, 
the baseball hall of fames in Cooper, Cooperstown, New York. Mm -hmm. How about poultry? Is there one? Yes, yes, I'm coming to that. Um, I believe it's in uh, Chickerton, Arkansas. He says yes. Yeah. It's not in Chickerton, but it's in uh, Maryland. There is a poultry hall of fame. You got the circle, Bill. It's your turn. Don DeLuise, the bar. Mr. DeLuise. You're at an intimate little tavern, trying to make friends with a beautiful girl, and she keeps rubbing her nose. According to psychological studies, what does that mean? Uh, if, if I'm lucky, by morning I'll have the sniffles. <laughs> it, she keeps rubbing her nose, yeah. and where was I? Uh, in, a, in, a, in a little tavern, trying to make friends. You're coming on with this beautiful little girl. She keeps rubbing her nose. She's, uh, she's, uh, she's frightened. She has anxiety, and she's rubbing away her, her uh, anxiety. <clears throat> I would disagree. Uh, no, that's close, though. It means no dice. That's an unconscious sign of hostility, and she may hit you at any moment. Yes, uh, okay, uh, put the X there. Julia, it's your turn. Ernest Gordon. For $250, Ernie, according to a recent report in the Wall Street Journal, which are there more of? these days runaway wives or runaway husbands ah uh, yes <laughs> well we agreed up here in italian corner yeah oh that's right Lo that Louis that Rosemary, there? what's your last name my real name yeah mazzetti mazzetti uh and borgnini borgnino borgnino deloisi que fa I'm back. Hey, 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 which are there more of I these? I gotta days? say the wife. The wife. More runaway wives. I'll agree. Twice as many wives have See? run away. Yes, you have yourself two hundred and fifty dollars, Judy. Okay, here we go for Secret Square number two, Kent. And this time, Circle starts the Secret Square for a man has exclusive three-door ice and water side-by-side. -side. The three-door refrigerator freezer with a patented separate ice and water dispenser completely free of frost, furnished by Amana. Plus, rice a the big flavor side dish is so quick, so easy. rice a the one you saute and serve to flavor perfection. rice a the San Francisco treat and dishes and tableware from the famous Beagle catalog with more than 500 pages new twice a year with over 50,000 quality items providing value selection economy, furnished by Spiegel. Also... The Maytag food waste disposer. It gobbles up string vegetables, melon rinds, corn husk, even steak bones, truly tougher than nails. From Maytag, the dependability people. Plus, your neighborhood teleflorist will send flowers and plants for your home or to be sent to friends and loved ones by wire. Furnished by Teleflor, valued at $1,000. And Rosemark Silver's pewter setting for 12, including pitcher, candlesticks, bread plate, wine bottle, coaster, sugar and creamer. Furnished by Rosemark. Now back to Peter Marsh on Hollywood Square. Okay, let's show the home audience the Secret Square. And Judy, you're going to start this game, dear. Roddy McDowell. Roddy. Yeah. Hey, that's a nice-looking outfit. It reminds me of two words. What? Yes. Front boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, shades of Reno. Roddy, yes. Eugene O'Neill. Where you a... were wonderful. Uh, thank you. You were wonderful thank you. in Reno. Thank you. Eugene O'Neill won a pure surprise for writing about a girl who tried to change her ways by setting up housekeeping on a barge with her father. Who was it? Her name was uh, Anna Christie. I agree. You know, I saw that on TV the other night with Charles Bickford. Yes, Anna yes. Christie and Greta Garvin, naturally. Yes. yes. All righty, Bill. Rosemary, please. Well, according to Ann Landers, yeah. if your spouse yeah. thinks all that hair <laughs> on your chest is repulsive... <laughs> oh, wait, hold it. I haven't finished. Is it reasonable to ask you to shave that hair on your chest? <laughs> No. My, my spouse. In other words, my husband wants me to shave my hair, no, 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 my no, chest. No, juxtapose that. I mean, in other words, uh, you are... What pretend... woman has hair on her chest? Are you kidding? I went to PS 165. <laughs> to 109th Street between Amsterdam and Dubrovnik. Are you kidding? I... <laughs> anyway, according to Ann Landers, if your spouse thinks that all the hair on your chest is repulsive, is it reasonable to ask you to shave it? That's the most repulsive question I have ever heard. Oh, no, you've had worse than this on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw a woman with hair on her chest. I think it would be bad to shave... Uh, oh, dear. Do you think uh, it's reasonable or unreasonable? I, I think, no, I think it's very unreasonable. Unreasonable, I, I uh, Bill? It's... I disagree. It is unreasonable. I mean, just <laughs> let that hair alone, and uh, that's a... a, a okay, you lose we your put, husband put a circle and everything there. Judy, else. it's your turn. Paul in. 
Paul, according to the San Francisco Chronicle, do ostriches really stick their heads in the sand? Only when dropped from a plane. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I, I'm sure back in grade school I saw them in my school books with their head in the sand. I, I, I think so, yeah. He said yes. I disagree. Uh, no, they don't. They sometimes lay their heads on the ground, though. And your school books lied, Paul. Isn't it amazing how you grow up and find that some of those things were not true? We have a commercial. Put a circle there. We'll be back. <laughs>